This is my latest way that I have found out how to force carbonate a mini keg. Now I've got two other systems that I've completed on how to do this. I'll put a link to those in the description of the video. And this is the third way. And then there's a fourth way, just using priming sugar. But this is the third way to force carbonate these mini kegs. Now let me grab you here and I'll show you what I've got and how it works. So start here, of course, with the CO2 tank. Then we've got our CO2 regulator, our gas line. The red line here goes up into a ball lock. This is a ball post. This right here is a quarter inch ball valve. This is going to allow me to shut off the gas, right? So at which point, let me turn this off so I can show you what I mean. I'm going to be able to take this off and then my mini keg is mobile. I can pick it up and take it wherever I want. Okay. And then this is a 90 degree elbow. It's quarter inch. So that means that the threads going into it are quarter inch. And then this right here is a quarter inch nipple. And then of course the rubber bung. And that is the setup. So this is just the initial kind of how it works. Tonight, I'm just testing it out. I've just got water in here. This weekend, I've got a batch of beer brewing. It still needs a couple days yet, and then it'll be ready to bottle, and I'm gonna put it in this mini keg, and then I'm gonna force carve it, and I will post a video later of that test. But the coolest thing about this, and this is the whole reason that I wanted to create this, is because now, my mini keg is portable. And I can take it wherever I went with me. As long as I leave this up here on the top, it's gonna to keep the CO2 in. As soon as you open this up, right, that'll let some of the CO2 out. So the cool thing is about this system is that it makes it portable now, and you can, you know, take it to the beach or wherever you wanna go with your beer, plus you can take it off, and then you can put it in the fridge standing by itself after it's been carbonated and you're ready to drink it. That way you don't have to worry about long tubes or getting a kegerator. It really does make it simple on how to use these men and kegs while force carbonating them, but making them portable at the same time. So it solves a couple different problems. So again, I'm gonna post a video of me putting actual homebrew beer into this and testing it on more of a detailed how it works video. So if you'd like to follow me and get updates on that, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, I will see you next time. Again, my name is Drew Smith.